Jake? Jake, can you hear me? Hang in there. I'm going to take care of you, buddy. You're going to be all right.
Jake, can you hear me? Look up to the control room if you hear me. Good. So this is your big day, huh? Don't worry, you're gonna do just fine. Move on to the next area whenever you're ready. Ha! <laughs> Urging to get to the action, aren't you? Sorry to disappoint, but I'd rather you start with the basics. We'll get to the good stuff in a minute. Alright, let's start with the basics. Get through this room as fast as you can. Jump, duck, climb, crawl through the vent, and get up to the ladder on the other side. If you jump and then crouch in midair, you'll be able to climb to the high spots. You just need to time it right. You can even climb in very tight areas like vents by doing so. As you can see, doing a lot of physical action will tire you quite a bit. You want to make sure you don't run out of stamina, or else you won't be able to jump, sprint, or stay underwater for too long. Remember, it's all about your breathing, so don't forget to breathe. Hmm, there's a bunch of crates in the way. You could try to move some of them, but the big one looks heavy. You might as well just kick them. Kicking is always a viable solution in close quarters. Keep that in mind on the field. It might save your life. Oh, look at that. It's dark in here. Time to use your shoulder flashlight. As you can see, you don't have any spare batteries in your flashlight, only the one it's currently using. Once these run out, your flashlight won't work properly. Look around the drawers for some batteries. Isn't that better? A working flashlight and night vision. Keep in mind that a flashlight is very noticeable, especially in the dark. That's why you have your night vision to remain undetected. But keep in mind, it uses twice as much battery as your flashlight. Okay, see that lever near the door? Flip it. See that door with a keypad on it? It has a randomized code system. The code changes every 10 seconds. You will find the code somewhere on a tablet in the drawers. The code on the tablet updates accordingly. When you find it, you'll have to type it in before it changes. Well done. 
Remember to be accurate when you use keypads. Some of them might have a limited number of tries, and an alarm might go off if you mess up three times in a row. Alright, let's talk about your inventory now. As you can see, there are some objects on the tables. You might want to get familiar with them. You can't carry everything you find out there. You have to think about what you will need the most. And that's your decision. The medkit is your best friend. It will stop any bleeding you might have, and allow you to get right back into the action. The health spray will clean the wound and make you feel a bit better. The bandages will help to stop the bleeding if you get injured. Glow sticks and flares can help you out if you don't have batteries. But keep in mind, flares are loud and won't help you remain undetected. The body armor and helmets will reduce the amount of damage you take, protecting you from potential bleeding effects. combat situations that last more than a day, but you always want to make sure you have a few protein-heavy rations and sugar-heavy drinks with you. You need to be at your maximum potential, and feeding yourself correctly is a very important part of making sure you give it your best. Keep it in mind. What's up, Jake? It's me, Mike. You recognize me under all this gear? <laughs> uh, it's your standard loadout. Uh, vest, mask, that whole deal. Nothing you're not familiar with. But, but take a good look. You do well to get used to what a friendly target looks like. In the field, you have a split second to identify and neutralize a suspect. And you better be sure it's a bad guy. So Mike volunteered for that part. 
Whenever you want to give orders, you have to be accurate and efficient. Ask Mike to go nearby the door. Good. If you send your squad mates somewhere and go away, they will eventually try to come back and find you. It's not really smart to leave your mates behind. Now, order him to regroup. Alright. Sometimes, in specific circumstances, you will have to give your signal to your team. Whenever you do so, they will breach and clear the area. Once the assault has been given, they might not stop to wait for you, and will do their job with or without you. So once you give the signal, be sure to stick with your team. Alright, you ready for this? Once you give the signal, we're gonna make entry and clear the ghost town of all the targets. We'll do a head count at the end. You ready? Let's do this! dead. And the last and most important of all rules. Everyone is a potential hostile. Do not take hostages for granted. You never know who is a perp. Appearances can be deceiving. Only use lethal force when necessary, but never let your guard down. Welcome to Special Weapons and Tactics, Jake. Of an unknown organization took control of an old hospital. 
Gunshots were reported by a neighbour. There are no commands whatsoever. All we know is that they went inside and started this mess. Now, Harvard City is blocked. We'll drop you on a parking lot near the hospital. It's just one street away, north. You can see it from the parking lot. Go to the top floor in the building in front of the hospital and take up the sniping position. Evaluate the situation and wait for further orders. waiting for you on the top floor. Oh, Alright, thank god you heard me. Look, everyone's so busy dealing with that mess across the street. I've got no help over here. i got a goddamn hostage situation on my hands. There's some crazy fuck in there, and he's threatening to kill his wife. Look, I need someone to make entry. Can you help me out here? He's about to snap, and we've got to move now. If he gives up, we'll make the arrest. If he doesn't, we'll take him down. Police, get down! Ah, Jesus Christ, this is a fucking mess. Ah. Alright, look, I'll clean up here. You need to head upstairs. They need you. I'll wait here for like forensics. Around a lot more. Uh, just get back to me. Dead. If they continue shouting or anything, I'm saying keep me updated. Okay. So you're our sniper, huh? Well, this is the best that we could get. They've obscured the windows on the first and third floor with plywood. But if anything happens anywhere else, this is our job. We've also got men in the back and side doors. Now that this spot is covered, they've got nowhere to go. Oh, 
Vorbereitung. 